Monday floss tube. Hello, crafty friends. How's everybody doing today? I have, I have to start off today with a little bit of news that I'm sure is going to surprise no one about Stitch North, the cross stitch retreat that I am hosting here in Canada, in Ontario. Uh, this was to be held in September, the end of September of this year, 2020. And unfortunately, I have had to make the decision to postpone that retreat. So I have, um, just before I started recording, I have put up a post in the Facebook group, the Stitch North Facebook group. And uh, um, I'll just kind of repeat quickly what I said over there in case you're not on that group and you have already registered for this retreat. Um, your registration will, will automatically be rolled over into 2021. I'm not completely canceling it. I am simply postponing it. I have, I've just spoken with the event coordinator at the hotel. The hotel is in Brampton, Ontario, and uh, they are looking into dates for me to move the entire event from the end of September to at some point in the month of April or early May 2021. So that's where we're starting. So I don't have an exact date to give you. And even if we did book an exact date, I think that we can all agree that the situation at the moment is still, you know, there are just so many moving parts and um, a large number of our registrations were from the US. And so, you know, there are still some there are a lot of unknowns. We're all in the same situation. None of us know where we're going to be in the spring of 2021, but I think we can all um, hopefully look forward to uh, that more things will be open, opened and it will be safe to, to gather in groups like that again come the spring. So that's the plan. Your money, if you have paid for a registration, will simply reserve your spot for the event in 2021. If at this point in time you would like to completely cancel your registration, please feel free to email me, caroline at evertote.com, and I will refund your registration fee. I have had a couple of people um, message me about um, being put on the wait list for 2021. At this particular point in time, I don't have a wait list because I still had about 25 spots open and I did have a few cancellations over the last month so I do still have some spots open so if you are interested still in purchase purchasing a registration for next year even though we don't know the exact date it would hold your spot Okay, so yeah, a little bit of, uh, I'm not even gonna say it's bad news because I think we all sort of knew that that was going to be what would have to happen. I know Arlene Cohen um, just last week um, also had to make the exact same decision for the New Jersey Floss Tube Retreat. And I am, I have made the decision to roll over my registration for that. I will be attending um, hopefully next summer for the Floss Tube New Jersey retreat. So um, exact same situation with Stitch North. We're in the same exact same situation. So uh, any questions, again, please feel free to email me at any time. Okay. So that is all about Stitch North. So let's do something fun next. I've got the giveaway winners from last week's very generous offer from Kay, Crafty Cat. She sent me an email and um, she offered to send out two charts that she has. And so I put those up on the Facebook group last Monday and they were the Because Monday giveaways from last week. And so the first one was the Stony Creek Holiday Dreams Christmas Stocking. And the comment that was chosen, I had to take, I took photographs of, of who won so that I could remember to, um, so that I would be able to spell everybody's names. Okay, so Lloyden Adair, congratulations, Lloyden. You were the winner of the Stony Creek Christmas stocking. And if you could please send me your address, your mailing address, I will get that off to Kay so that she can mail the chart to you. 
The second chart that we had for giveaway, that Kay had for giveaway from last Monday, was the Plum Street Sampler Summer Delivery. And the winner of that chart was Julie Fry. So congratulations, Julie. Your comment was the one that was chosen. And um, again, I will need your mailing address to send off to Kay so that she can, um, Crafty Cat, so that she can mail the chart to you. So congratulations, everybody. And thanks again, huge thanks to Kay for offering up those charts last week. That was, that was really fun. Okay, I do have a chart for giveaway today, but today's chart is the Pass the Stash chart from me because you guessed it, I finished it. So ta-da, I have a finish to tell you about today too. So this is Little House Needleworks Warm Winter Woolens. So this is not a brand new chart up for giveaway today. This is my copy of it. I'm done with it. So it's time to send it along its way. The I will put this um, photo up on the Facebook group. It's a Because Monday giveaway and you can enter over there. Just leave me a comment below the photo of this chart and uh, I'll mail it out to the winner next week. Do you want to see my finish now? Oh, I, I just, I love it. Look, 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 look. I finished it. It's so cute. It's so cute. I just, I love it. So yes, as of now, um, I showed you my, my small roll of finishes. This is just going to be joining that roll for now. Eventually I will turn it into a knitting bag, but I don't, uh, I won't be doing that anytime soon. I just made the bird bath bag and I, I, at the moment I don't need another knitting project bag and I'll tell you why in a minute because I did just make another one for myself. So it's going in the finish pile and I'll turn it into something beautiful another day. But I, I'm just so pleased I finally finished the stitching on it. So count them. That's one, two finishes in the last few days because I finished those big gray socks and now I finished a cross stitch whip as well. So two finishes. Oh, uh, details on this. This is a 40 count something something. <laughs> it's a 40 count mystery linen. I, at some point I knew what it was, but I never keep, I, I, I keep terrible notes on what the fabric is because I tend to just use what I like and um, I have, I, I have no idea what it is. I'd have to find it. I'd have to find the video of when I started it. And that would be so many videos ago that I would never find it. But I can tell you, I did make a few thread changes. I didn't use all of the called for colors. The, the vine, the white and the little tiny, um, flower that's in the vine and also that color is in the middle of the snowflake on the sweater of the sheep. I changed those out. So there are actually only five colors in the whole chart and I'll just tell you what they are. Uh, toasted marshmallow. So toasted marshmallow is the, supposed to be the color of the snow and I didn't have that. I subbed out uh, Classic Colorworks Antique Lace for the toasted marshmallow. Uh, caterpillar was the color for the head, the legs and the words and the tail. I did use that. I, so I used caterpillar. Bing cherry was the color for the little flowers and I subbed out um, gentle art mulberry, which is a little bit more of a reddish brown. And then uh, the last one, oh, brandied pears is the color of the back half of the sheep. I did use that. So that is brandied pears. And then for the vine, it called for crescent, uh, crescent colors. So classic color works, uh, weeping willow. And I subbed out shutter green cause I, cause I had it. And, and do you remember, do you remember when I finished that, um, Frosty Forest and I was going through the, the charts that I had left to 
uh, to st still to stitch on that on that frosty forest design I think I have three left and three or four I might have four left it's time to maybe start another one of those on that design shutter green was one of the the gentle arts that I was missing from those charts and so I found it <laughs> I found it so I'm ready to go with my frosty forest now and I will put those my threads away back where they belong so hooray I finished something so two finishes you know what that means right you know where I'm headed with that right okay so I just finished a pair of socks and I showed you last week that I had some fabric that I've been saving um, to make bags out of the Tula Pink fabric called Cat Snacks. So I made myself a bag. And I, I just, I love it. I love it. And yes, there will be some Cat Snack bags in the shop update tomorrow. And I'll, I'm gonna, do, shop update will be tomorrow. I'm not gonna talk anything about those today. So I made myself a bag. And as I was making this bag, I was thinking about, uh, do you remember I pulled out my yarn from, from Karen? Remember Karen gave me the special yarn that her daughter had made? And so I, I keep this in a bag of, of stash yarn that is sort of special yarn that I want to use within the next, you know, near future. And so as I was pulling this out, there were a few skeins of a sock club yarn in there that I had purchased last year as um, my birthday present to myself with some birthday money. I didn't just, I had birthday money. That's what I bought with it. And so one of the skeins, in fact, it was the first one that I received out of the sock club. I really didn't like it. I'll be honest. I really didn't like it. It and I opened it up and I thought, oh, this is just not me at all. This is not me at all. And so I was a little bit mad at it. <laughs> I was a little bit mad at it because you think, you know, I, it just wasn't what I expected. And so I put it away and I, I, every once in a while I would think about it and be a little bit upset and, but not upset. That's the, not the right word, but what was I going to do with it? Because I thought this is just, it's just not my, my taste. But then I made this bag and because I had just been looking through that yarn and yes I know I had just said it was in a bag of stuff that I wanted to use I think I had put it in there because I wanted to find something to do with it sooner rather than letting it languish in my stash for a long period of time does that make sense and I don't have a I have a pretty big yarn stash but not as big as other people so I'm gonna insert a photo of that yarn here. Pretty bright, right? Pretty crazy. But then I made this bag and I thought, all of the colors in that yarn are in this fabric. It's the perfect project bag for that pair of socks. You need to make those pair of socks and you need to, if you, if you kick it up and you start knitting it, why don't you get out of your comfort zone and you know, you might just like it. So, um, unfortunately the, the Hank was too wide for my Swift. So I had to wind it by hand. So it's a, it's a huge ball of yarn. But look at this ball of yarn. It's like a tropical fruit salad. Look at it. It is so bright and kind of fun, hey? I mean, if that doesn't say summer, I don't know what does. And look at the yarn and my bag. They're like a perfect match. Isn't that funny? So of course I had to cast it on because I'd finished, whoops, I'm just about to throw it on the floor. I had finished my father-in-law's sock. So I thought, what the heck, I'm casting it on. So I did. And I knit the whole cuff and I'm onto the uh, stockinette section so look at that isn't it fun it's I'm not mad at it anymore I am not mad at it anymore I think it's fun so 
this was this doesn't have a name um the the actual yarn doesn't have a name but i can tell you the dyer is leo and roxy they are canadian small canadian yarn dyers they are the owners of the little red mitten in saint thomas which is a lovely yarn shop and this was their uh august august 2019 sock club it's an 80 20 and it came with came with a little gray mini i don't love the gray mini with this particular color um i i i don't know i think i'm gonna make the whole sock out of this fun yarn and just have a pair of fun socks so that's my story i made the project bag first and then i came up with the project to put inside it <laughs> i thought it was i thought it was like it was just fate so um, so yeah, so now I have another sock where I'm just at the, you know, the fun round and round and round. So this is the kind of knitting that I take in the car or I knit when I'm tired because I don't have to think it's just knitting. The other sock that I'm going to bring back is my, are my Christmas socks that I started a couple of months ago. The stripey kind of little bit sparkly Christmas socks. I'm going to, um, I'm at the heel of the first sock. So that will be my trickier knitting that I have to concentrate. And this is my, I'm tired. I don't know what else to do knitting. So there, fun. And the other thing that I put back on my floor frame is my Glendon Place Hope and Strength stitch along. And so I will be putting, I'm, I'm hoping to stitch on that for about an hour tonight after my work is done. Nicholas has a bassoon lesson today. It is, uh, it's, mo uh, it's Monday again. Um, he has, when the weather is nice, last week he started, his teacher started this, where they can have the lesson in his backyard. So they're able to sit far enough apart and you know, Nicholas takes clothes pegs for his music and he takes his own chair and he takes his own stand. And um, his teacher, his teacher is lovely. Really, really, we've, we, for, for both of my kids, um, uh, the, their private music teachers have just been uh, phenomenal. We've been very lucky. And these are, these are um, I, I, his teacher I've known for many years. We used to play together in the local, I was in the uh, community symphony and um, his teacher uh, was also in it. And so I've known him for many, many years and he's just, just wonderful. Nicholas really likes him. So it's going really well. And uh, what else? I'm working on the bags for the shop update for tomorrow. And I'm still waiting for a surgery date. That's all. That's all that's new with me. I forgot to put the garlic dill pickle recipe in on Saturday's video. So I'm going to try and remember to do that today. So if you have been waiting for the garlic dill pickle recipe, and my mother sent it to me like right away so it's not her fault, it's completely my fault for not remembering to put it in. So I will do that, uh, I will do that when I edit today's video. Um, I think that's everything. Yep, that's it. That's it for me today. I will see you tomorrow. Happy stitching everybody. <laughs>